Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic from interpolation. We will solve here Newton's divided difference formula problem. Now the question is, find f of 3 using Newton's divided difference technique. We have values of x and y which is given. This will be a 7 mark question. Now here, we have this value is nothing but x0. This will be x1, this will be x2 and this will be x3. This is corresponding value that is y0, y1, this is your y2, this will be y3. Now as we have to solve it with the help of Newton's divided difference technique, so we have to prepare a table. So let me write it as by preparing Newton's divided difference table Newton's divided difference table now how to prepare this table please see it carefully we will have first column which is nothing but value of x second column value of y now we have a value 0 1 then 2 and 4. I have kept gap purposefully here. Y values will be this is 1, this is 4, this will be 15 and this will be 85. Now we have to prepare this Newton's divided difference table. Already we have gone through how to prepare this but still I will explain it for uh, this problem. So we have del Y. So how to find it out this? This will be del y0 will be equal to 4 minus 1. So let me write it as 4 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 which will be equal to 3. Next is del y1 will be equal to 15 minus 4 divided by 2 minus 1 which will be equal to 11. Then del y2 will be equal to 85 minus 15 divided by 4 minus 2. So we will get this answer as a 35. So this will be your first column representing value of del y. Next is nothing but we have to uh, we have to find del square y. So how to find it out? Please see it carefully. Del square y will be equal to what to do here? It will be 11 minus 3. So let me write it as 11 minus 3. Now uh, you have to take here 2 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 0. So exclude this 1. So you will get 2 minus 0. So the answer will be 4. So this is del square y0. And here del square y1 will be equal to 35 minus 11 divided by 4 minus 1. You have to exclude this 2 term. This this 2 term here. So you will get answer this as a 8. And last column is nothing but let me write it as del cube of y. So how to find it out this del cube of y? This will be equal to del cube of y 0. Okay, It will be equal to it will be equal to 8 minus 8 minus 4 divided by now what to do here last element is 4 and first element is 0 4 minus 0 so you will get this answer as a 1 now here we will be using these terms this will be your y0 this term will be your del y0 this term will be your del square y0 and this term will be your del cube of y0. So let me write a formula of Newton's divided difference interpolation. So I will write it as here formula. Now what will be formula? Already we have derived this. It will be y equal to y0 plus x minus x0 del y0 plus x minus x0 x minus x1 
del square y0 plus x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 del cube of y0. So here we have to just substitute values. What is your y0 value? It is 1. Now what is your value of x which is to be interpolated? So here if you see we have to find it out f of 3. So here you will get a value x equal to 3. We have this x0, x1, x2, x3 formula. So or values. So therefore we will be writing it as 3 x0 is 0. Del of y0 if you see this del of y0 is nothing but 3. So it will be into 3 plus again x minus x0 that is 3 minus 0 x minus x1 that is 3 minus now which one will be your x1 x1 will be your 1 so it will be 3 minus 1 into del square y0 from a table it will be 4 and last element will be 3 minus 0 3 minus 1 3 minus x2 so what is your x2 here x2 is nothing but 2 so let me write it as here 2 into del cube of y0 it is nothing but 1 so this will be your value as a 1 so if you solve it you will get 1 plus 3 into 3 is 9 plus uh, this will be 3 minus 1 is 2 into 4 is 8 into 3 is 24 plus 3 minus 2 is 1, 3 minus 1 is 2 into 3, so you will get it as a 6. So if you solve, you will get answer of y of 3 or in other words you can say it is f of 3 which will be equal to 40. So in this way, we have to solve this numerical, either it may be asked for 7 marks or 6 marks. So this is the first problem of Newton's divided difference interval. Thank you for watching this video.